okay hello everyone in this video or lecture we are going to discuss to solve the rc circuit using laplace transform in our last class we have been discussed solving the rl circuit using laplace transform in detail in this video or lecture we are going to discuss rc circuit or solving the rc circuit to by using laplace transform okay so let's start so this is the rc circuit connected with a emf resistance and capacitance when key will be closed the i current will be flow through the circuit okay so consider the resistance and capacitance are connected in the series as shown in the figure here the applied emf is your et in this format e e0 u at minus u bt this is the unitary function this is another un unitary function uh what exactly that is your u t minus a minus u t minus b here b is greater than a what is the physical significance of this one that we are going to discuss do not be worry about that and e0 here is the constant <coughs> okay so we know that unitary step function if we have to write u t minus a that means 0 when t less than a and 1 when t greater than a that we know okay and u t minus b is nothing but 0 when t less than b and 1 when t greater than b okay okay when key is closed will be closed then voltage will drop across r and c r how much across r resist resistance resistor having the resistance r voltage drop will be ir see here when key is closed means i current will be flow only for that voltage will be dropped I, that things uh, uh, I not written here but you just understand that when key will be closed I current will be flow okay when key, key when key will be closed I current will be flow will be flow then the voltage will be dropped across r and c will be ir and q by c we know that because we know that c equal to q by b for the capacitance c equal to q by b b equal to q by c okay q by c now applying kvl creates voltage law at any instant of time then voltage dropped across the all the elements will be equal to applied voltage that we know so ir plus q by c equal to applied voltage et here i is the function of time that we know ir plus here q by c can be written as 1 by c or q will be written as 0 to t integers in i dt how it is because i we know that uh, current is your rate of change of charge dq by dt so here q will be i dt integration 0 to t so instead of q can be written as 0 to t i dt equal to e t is nothing but e 0 u t minus a minus u t minus b see what is the meaning of this one that means voltage applied in between t equal to a and t equal to b okay so if i am going to draw this one u t minus a minus u t minus b when b equal to b greater than a then we can found this one that means voltage exists in between t equal to a and t equal to b before that not exist after that also not exist that means voltage applied in this time period only for that representation of voltage applied a constant voltage applied in between these two times t equal to a to t equal to b which is represented by the unit step function like this e0 into u t minus a minus u t minus b the physical significance of this one means e voltage applied or we can say key closed uh, from time t equal to a to time t equal to b okay okay let this is your equation number one now applying laplace transform on equation number one we get laplace transform applied on this and this laplace transform applied on ir On left hand side and right hand side let this is your equation number two now we know Laplace transform 
of integral already we have been discussed laplace transform of an integral 0 to t f of t dt equal to 1 by s into f of s f of s is nothing but laplace transform f of t so laplace transform of 0 to t i dt i which is the function of t dt will be written as 1 by s into laplace transform of i or i is the function of t so now equation number 2 this one will be written as i sorry r into laplace transform of i plus c into c into c into 1 by s into laplace transform of i what we uh, found over here or already discussed previously equal to e0 <coughs> into laplace transform of u t minus a minus laplace transform of u t minus okay okay let laplace transform of i equal to i bar so here laplace transform of i uh, written as i bar plus here 1 by c s i bar equal to e0 laplace transform of u t minus a we know that e to the power minus s by s here u t minus b laplace transform will be equal to e to the power minus s b by s so s taken outside e0 by s and here i bar taken common r plus 1 by c s e to the minus s a minus e to the minus s b so i bar will be equal to e 0 by s into r plus 1 by c r plus 1 by c e to the minus s a minus e to the minus s b i bar equal to e 0 by r taken outside and s multiplied with these two terms so s plus s multiplied with this term will be 1 by r c into e to the minus s a into e to the min minus e to the minus s b <coughs> so i bar will be equal to e 0 by r e 0 by r s plus 1 by r c e to the minus s a minus e to the minus s b so separately we can write i bar equal to e 0 by r taken outside e, G, e to the minus s a by s plus 1 by r c minus e to the minus s b by s plus 1 by r c now we are going to apply inverse laplace transform on this equation number 3 that means both lhs and rhs inverse laplace transform on i bar inverse laplace transform on this term and this term okay so here you can see we know that inverse laplace transform of 1 by s plus a is nothing but e to the minus a t and here inverse laplace transform 1 by s plus 1 by rc equal to e to the minus t by rc but second second shifting theorem according to e to the minus s a into f of s will be equal to f of t minus a into u t minus a so here inverse laplace transform of e to the power minus a into 1 by s plus 1 by rc will be how much will be e to the minus t minus a by rc see inverse laplace transform of only this one only this one inverse laplace transform of only this one will be equal to this one but according to septic theorem if e to the minus s a will be multiplied no then the answer will be c this will be f of t suppose inverse laplace transform of this one equal to f of t but if e to the minus a will be multiplied minus s a will be multiplied with this f of s and we are going to take the inverse laplace transform then according to second shifting theorem this f t will be f of t minus a into another term will be multiplied that is your u t minus a unitary step function will be multiplied so here inverse laplace transform of this one equal to this one so if e to the minus s a into this factor if we multiplied by according to second shifting theorem this term will be modified as e to the minus of instead of t we have to write t minus a by rc into u t my u t minus a got it okay similarly inverse laplace transform of e to the minus s v into 1 by s into 1 s plus 1 by rc will be e to the power minus t minus b by minus t uh, of minus of t minus b by rc into u t minus b let this is your equation of 5 6 and this is your 5 now we are going to substitute see inverse laplace transform of this one and this one we found equation number 5 and 6 we have 5 and 6 now 5 and 6 we are going to substitute in equation number 4 we found i equal to e0 by r um, already that e0 by r this value and this value we have to substitute value is e to the power minus into t minus a by rc into u t minus a minus e to the minus e to the minus 
t minus b by rc into u t minus b is your uh, solution general solution right and we know that rc is nothing but your time constant right now consider two cases here two cases suppose we have to consider t time we consider time uh, is less than b and less than a less than a and less than b for this case i equal to 0 here you can see less than a equal to 0 less than b the the i also will be equal to 0 because u t minus a u t minus a see u t minus a value is 0 when t less than a u t minus b also 0 when t less than b t when this side is your t okay this side is your t this along this we consider t so when t less than a u t minus a 0 when t less than b u t minus b also 0 so when t both less than both a and b this factor 0 this factor 0 so i will be equal to 0 i will be equal to 0 okay so here also i return refer to this figure 2 this one okay now um, and also here i return because u t minus a uh, equal to u t minus b equal to 0 for that uh, this factor this factor will be 0 and i we can get will be equal to 0 and if we are going to consider time will be in between a and b in between a and b in between uh, a and b we can found that we can found that see in between a and b u t minus a is your one but u t minus v u t minus b value in between this equal to how much zero so u t minus b will be zero in between a to b so this factor will be zero so answer will be e zero by r into e to the bar t minus a by rc rc u t minus a will be one in between in between a to b in between a to b here okay so this will be the answer case for case one i equal to zero for case two this will be the instant minus correct so here this is the entire explanation of solution of rc circuit by considering laplace transform in the next class we are going to discuss about uh, about lcr circuit okay lcr circuit using laplace transform transform thank you so much for watching this video thank you